How's it going, party people? My name is Richie, and I'm back on Friday for another review. I'm going to go through Litecoin, Lisk, and of course, good old Ethereum. Let's get started. So, what we're going to bring up first is uh, probably we'll do. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What have we got loaded? We have loaded Litecoin. So, let's get into that. Litecoin is looking pretty good. Uh, nice we trade there this morning. Uh, we've we've entered here straight off of uh, support. Uh, we've gone up. I'm actually looking at intra, um, exiting this trade any minute on this on this four hour chart here. Um, I'm going to scale this down so you can get a bit of a um, a better sort of plan on on, on what I'm thinking and, and why. Um, at the moment, we've had this bullish <coughs> excuse me bullish run up. We've come back down. Uh, I want to be seen. I wanted to be seen this push up higher than this. These previous lows here. Um, there's like this high, this low, this low, this low, and this low. Where it is now and where it's pulled back from is not a really good structural part of resistance. Uh, I'm going to see what happens here on this uh, one hour chart, and I'm also monitoring it on the 15 15 minute. If I see any evidence of a double top or anything of that nature, then we're, we're the hell out of that. Uh, but yeah, Litecoin's looking pretty good. It's, it's literally setting up on the four hour as a really, really positive move um, and, a, and a nice bullish formation coming into play. So let's keep our eyes tracked onto that. As you can see down here, it's come up on the four hour, it's come back down, it's hit support, it's going back up again. So. Our area of interest, let me zoom on in there, is on the four hour chart, we want to be seeing price break this level here. So we've got nice management zone coming straight through there. That's about it. Let's make that a nice blue color. There we go. So that's our management point. We want to see price breaking above that, that zone, um, closing within it, breaking above this top line for sure. Then we're going to see a, a new uh, a new cycle high coming in, which would be great. So um, yeah, let's just keep our ourselves peeled, our eyes peeled rather, ourselves peeled, our eyes peeled on that, and um, let's see what um, transforms in the next couple of days. Uh, we are on Friday, but it's obviously American Thursday, so let's check back on this on Monday or Tuesday and see how we're going. Um, pro I'm going to check on it tomorrow. Uh, if I do see anything, I will update you via Twitter. Anyway, let's get on to good old Ethereum. Ethereum has been pretty looking, looking like it was giving us some pretty good evidence. Uh, one thing a really, really good sign was this breakout. Obviously, I mentioned this the other day. Pull back to support. It's taken back off and it's come back down. And as you can see, the the short-term bear line and the long-term bull trend line, where it intercepted, price actually touched down and took back off. So that's a really good sign for Ethereum. Uh, we are... Currently crunching into higher highs on that particular, um, that previous high here. We did see this double top formation happening. However, we didn't pull right back down. So that was a really good indication that the bulls are still in, in charge of this market. Right now, we've got a lot of consolidation going on. We've got uh, a couple of dojis, got an inverted hammer. Uh, price isn't doing too much. The, the market's actually asleep right now. So um, it's a good time for us to check in and see what is up with our charts, plot future moves, um, all of the above, you know, basically do a pretty good analysis on on your charts while the market's sleeping. Sort of like wakes you up for the, we'll get you geared up for the next day, basically. So. And tomorrow basically is the, the, the last day of trading. I mean, I know crypto is 24-7, but it is only traded in volume um, Monday to Friday. The markets do go to sleep a lot on the weekend. So as a rule, we're not, we're not trading on the weekends anymore. Um, 
we've been we've been caught out with that. We thought it was a great thing, but we've literally been caught into trades um, where they've gone against us just because of low volatility. Um, all of a sudden, you have a massive um, bear candle, and um, there's not enough volume to push that back up. So, what have we got? We've got Lisk. Lisk is up and trading. Nice signal here on the four hour. We've got on the 60 minute, as you can see, I'm gonna scroll right out. We've got that nice first cycle. That's a really deep um, pull, pullback as well. We got there, 78.6%. Uh, we're currently meandering around the 61.8. As you can see, if you draw that line straight across on the 61.8, I'll put my cursor on it. You can see it coming over here. It's just reacting straight through through. So what we're going to do is that will be a historical level in the future. So we're just going to plot that as an uh, SNR line. So we know that next time that price gets around that point, we do have strong reversal um, chances. Probability is really good. Oh, excuse me, that price will reverse around that point. Anyway, what we want to see is we definitely want to see price break through with LISC um, and go above that um, resistance line and we want to turn it into support so we can bounce back off and go back onto a new cycle high. That's a really nice cycle. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that or clearer. LISC is a really good, good option as well. I mean, we are literally just going into this new cycle, hopefully. So we will monitor it, make sure that we are just reaching and achieving higher highs and, and lower highs. Uh, and yeah, let's just keep a, keep updated and see how we go. As I said, we will tune in tomorrow for the live chat. I probably will, actually I'll bring it up tomorrow instead of tweeting it. Uh, I will give you an update if there's any news on Litecoin uh, and Ethereum of course. Tomorrow's live stream is at 10 a.m. Sydney time. So make sure you tune in. It's, it's a great chance to fire away a couple of questions, see what it is we're all about, um, you know, improve your trading knowledge. And Eddie's going to go through a bunch of ICO magic. So yeah, that's us for today. Hope you all stay safe over the weekend and we will see you tomorrow. Ciao.